The first precautionary principle that states must undertake in relation to their own territory is to endeavor to remove the civilian population and civilian objects from the vicinity of the military objectives under their control. Of course, this process, where possible, must comply with the IHL provisions dealing with the displacement of a civilian population. It is particularly relevant if the territory in question is occupied rather than sovereign territory, as the displacement of civilian populations in occupied territories is subject to very strict conditions. Of course, the removal of immovable objects will hardly be possible. However, when the object is movable, such as a food depot intended for the civilian population, then it should be removed away from military objectives whenever possible. The first precautionary obligation assumes particular importance when states have been unable or unwilling to effectively implement the second obligation, namely that military objectives should be positioned far away from civilians and civilian objects. It is indeed not always possible for belligerents to locate military objectives away from the civilian population. For example, in case of sieges, when a party to the conflict is encircled by the adversary in a city, like, for example, the PLO fighting against Israel in Beirut in 1982, or more recently, the Islamic State in Mosul, that party to the conflict may have no other means to launch attacks from the civilian areas that it still controls. Similarly, although precautionary measures must be taken to place military objectives at a safe distance from densely populated areas in peacetime, social processes such as rapid urbanization may cause problems. Military objectives may quickly become surrounded by permanent civilian objects. We also know that civilian objects, such as a place of worship, a house, or other dwelling, or a school, may become military objectives if they are used for military purposes. However, it may be more feasible to locate military objectives away from the civilians and civilian objects when that military objective is movable. In that regard, the placement of troops, equipments or transports in densely populated areas should be avoided. Moreover, these two specific obligations of precautions against the effects of attacks are completed by a residual general obligation to protect civilians and civilian objects from attacks whenever possible. This includes, according to the RCRC's study on customary IHL, the construction of shelters, digging of trenches, distribution of information and warnings, withdrawal of the civilian population to safe places, direction of traffic, guarding of civilian property and the mobilization of civil defense organizations.